Hey everybody, Jadams is back with another video for you guys, and today I'm going to be bringing back, it's been a good long while since we did this, the tier list. That's right, I've had a lot of fun doing these, it's just been a damn long time, been doing a lot of covers, been doing a lot of reactions lately, and also behind the scenes been working on a lot of Ocean stuff, and that, as you can see in the title of the video, I'm going to be ranking my own songs from my album Argument of Fools, if you guys would like to pick that up, a little mindless self-promotion here, it is on Spotify, you can listen to it for free. It is on Apple Music, Google Play, and all that fun stuff. I can leave links down below if you guys want to go purchase that. It's only like 10 bucks. If you want a physical copy, I can send you one as well. We can talk out details, just DM me. And we're gonna get on with the video right here in a jiffy. So as you can see here, there are nine different selections here. There's 10 tracks on the album. I don't really consider intro a track. It's a very, very cool track though. But um, if you guys would like me to add it to this tier list, then um, I shall do so. I made this template myself, by the way. I forgot to say that in the intro. So yeah, this was a lot of fun to put together and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to get right to it here. As you can see, it says banger, great, solid, eh, don't know. That's how we're ranking these. And we're going to start off with anguish here. It looks like this is in alphabetical order as well. I didn't, I don't think I intended for that, but that's pretty cool. So Anguish, this is the second track on the record, and probably probably my favorite. I think it's an absolute banger. Um, this, these might come across as a little biased, just so you guys know, but you might be in for some surprises. Stay to the end of the video, and uh, you will see which one is not good or a banger. Anthem. Um, you know, honestly, this just gets a solid from me. Um, I, I really like the guitar work in it. Dylan, uh, Mar, the ex-guitar player we're still writing together and all that stuff and producing together uh he wrote the instrumental for this he takes credit for that um i wrote the lyrics and the vocal patterns um yeah, it's just some parts of the song i just felt like i could have just sung better you know looking back on it but you know hey it is what it is i'm still proud of it i think it's solid work i don't think it's like um a song that's going to be a top 10 you know top 40 radio hit argument of fools really really good song that's definitely a banger in my opinion um has a music video for as well as anguish does forgot to mention that you guys can go check that out on youtube and i will put the links to these videos down in the description down below for you guys artists of days um wow uh honestly this is between great and solid for me um fuck I gotta put it down as great. I mean, the the production really, really, really is like it really like what Hayden Calhoun did. He's the one that uh, did the production. I forgot to mention that as well. Um, he's in a band called If Not For Me. Go check them out as well. I can put some links down below their stuff as well. But back to the main point. Uh, I really, honestly think his production on this song actually really made the song stand out so much better. Um, I think, I think from the EP, it's just kind of a solid song, but the production made it great is my point and we're gonna go to lips a liar and actually this was originally sung by dylan as well on the ep and then i took over singing it after a good while and on the album version it's sung by me i think this song is mm, this is definitely between great and banger so many good riffs in this song i love my solo i love dylan's solo and it the chorus is super super fucking catchy um the drums are really really solid in this one uh, wow. Um, it's definitely between great and banger. Where, where are we going today? Well, how do I feel today about it? Um, I'm just gonna go with banger. I, I think that's appropriate. And Pathetic Acoustic, honestly, is probably, I think, the best track on this whole entire record, honestly. Um, this song was the last song recorded, so that's obviously gonna be a banger. This was the last song recorded on the album, and Hayden also added some, like, bells and whistles to it that made it sound better. He got the best vocal performance out of me i think out of any recording i've done so far that's out there and just uh, it just it, it just sounds wonderful just go check it out if you guys haven't heard it and if you have thank you for listening to it and uh we got the original version of pathetic um it's just kind of great to me you know um i can't i can't put it up there with those other ones especially pathetic acoustic definitely a damn good version of the song Really happy with the choruses of the song. Um, I didn't really care for the verses so much. I, I felt like I could have done a little bit better. Not got awful in my opinion, but I felt like I could have done so much better. But that's 
um, with Pathetic Acoustic, I feel like I achieved that. They were recorded about, I think, nine months apart from each other. Yeah, this record took a few years to record. And To Persistence, which is the title track to the EP, and this is the oldest song. This song was written originally with a bunch of the original members back in 2013. We actually had a female actually perform on this song originally, and um, I believe it's still out there for you to go listen to. I'll have to go check and see if I still have it on the Ocean YouTube. If you guys would like to hear that, let's get this video up to at least 15 likes, and then I'll make that shit public, because I'm pretty sure I made it private, if you guys want to hear that version. But as far as Argument of Fools is concerned, um, this song is great. Um, the EP version, I would say, was just kind of solid. Uh, we dropped it down to C. We actually brought, um, we actually dropped down, um, D Darkest of Days as well. That was, uh, in Drop D originally on the EP. Uh, that's in Drop C on the record. We dropped this down to C. You could sing it so much live better. It just sounds better on the record. And there was some orchestration added to it as well, which made it really, really pop. And um, some vocal melodies were changed around a little bit. Um, suggested by Hayden. He really pushed me on this one. Um, yeah, just kind of a great song. And then Stonewall's probably my least favorite. It, It's just kind of solid. Uh, it, it, I don't really like the way I wrote the verses, the guitar riff I wrote, and then the, and then when I wrote on top of it, vocal melody wise, I just felt like it was really just just uh, I I don't know how to put it, but it just not well timed, you know, not well executed, I guess for lack of a better term. But I think like the chorus and the guitar solo is really fucking cool, um, and the intro is really really fucking cool, but the verse is kind of. Mm, yeah, it's enough to make it only a solid song. And that's that's the end of the record. If you guys would like to do this yourself, I can send you a link to the template and you guys can do it yourselves. And I would love to see you guys, see what you guys think. Um, if you guys don't feel like going as far as making this to your list, just put in the comment section down below what you guys think of these songs. You can just tell me which ones are the best, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite, what songs are solid, and eh, or just ones you don't know. And if you guys could, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you guys like what's going on, hit that notification bell so you know what's going on at all times as well. And comment down below what you guys want to hear, such as for future tier lists, reactions, covers you want me to do, and anything else you want me to suggest. I've done some TV shows as well, like Vikings and Game of Thrones. And um, I've done some travel videos as well, so... I might be doing some traveling over the winter, so if you guys would like to see that shit, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'm going to stop rambling and get on with my day, so you guys can too as well. Until next time, J.M.'s out.